नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इंटरनल कंबेशन इंजिन नेम ऑफ चैप्टर एसआई इंजिन फ्यूल सप्लाई सिस्टम इग्निशन सिस्टम कंबेशन नेम ऑफ टॉपिक न्यूमेरिकल ऑन कार्बोरेटर डायमेंशन कंटेंट्स न्यूमेरिकल ऑन कार्बोरेटर डायमेंशन डियर फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑल डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑन द कार्बोरेटर डायमेंशन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू डिस्कस द अनदर वराइटी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑन द डायमेंशन ऑफ द कार्बोरेटर इट्स सो टू सी द पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी विल डायरेक्टेड टू द नोट्स पार्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द नोट्स अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड the another variety of the carburetor numerical so here we have a statement a four stroke four cylinder square engine running at 40 revolution per second has carburetor venturi 3 cm throat assuming bore to be 10 cm volumetric efficiency of 75% the density of air to be 1.15 and coefficient of air flow to be 0.75 so with the help of this all data we have to calculate the suction at the throat so dear friends again here the statement of the problem is very very important so again there is a four stroke four cylinder square engine so the word square engine is nothing but what suppose the the engine is there there is one engine and the design of engine is just like a square so what do you mean by the square engine suppose the meaning of square engine means what it has the same what we can say all the sides square means what all the sides are the same one okay suppose here is that particular square engine like this one so in this case suppose here is the stroke length of the engine whatever the stroke length is given so this will be the stroke length of the engine okay and similarly this will be the bore diameter of the engine okay so in this case if it is the square engine that time we can say we can say this particular dimensions means the bore diameter of the engine cylinder as well as the stroke length both will be same to each other suppose here is that particular letter small l that is the stroke length and suppose here is the bore diameter that is a d so if the engine is a square engine in that case this l is equal to d because of the shape or the design of engine is a square engine so the meaning of square engine is just like this one okay this l is equal to d so as per the given data we can write the things so again here the things are given to solve this particular problem a four stroke four cylinder so the number of cylinders are four and the number of strokes are four again so again square engine as i told you earlier that is l is equal to d because of the square engine so in this case uh, the engine running at 40 revolution per second okay so this revolution per second means generally rpm is given in the problem but in this case the rps revolution per second is given that's why the speed of the engine that is capital n here we are going to consider n that is rpm of the engine is given to us that is 40 revolution per second the unit is revolution per second then the next one has a carburetor venturi 3 cm throat so let us consider the throat diameter we are considering that is a d2 small d2 for the throat that's why uh, the given value is 3 cm and get convert the centimeter into mm that is 0.03 mm the volumetric efficiency is again given in the problem and that value is 75% then the air density is also given that is uh, 1.15 note down the density of air that is the rho suffix air is nothing but 1.15 then again the coefficient of discharge of air flow to be 0.75 that is c suffix da that is coefficient of discharge of air it is given in the problem that is 0.75 okay and similarly in this case the bore is again given in the problem and that bore assuming bore to be 10 cm bore means this particular diameter bore diameter of the engine is given that is 10 cm 
okay let us consider suppose uh, here we are considering capital d for the pore diameter and that is given in the problem 10 centimeter so as this is the square engine that's why this l is again equal to 10 centimeter because uh, in the case of square engine all the sides are equal to each other all the sides are same so uh, with the help of this given data, we have to calculate the suction at the throat. What would be the suction at the throat section we have to calculate? So, as I told you, as it is square engine, that's why the L, that is the stroke length, sometimes you can consider small L, sometimes consider capital L. Okay, like that we can write capital L is equal to 10 centimeter because of the square engine and the bore diameter is also given that is 10 centimeter okay so uh, now we have to calculate the suction at the throat that is change in pressure of air so please uh, if you remember the diagram of that particular simple carburetor section 1 1 at the entry section and section 2 2 at the throat section okay so what will be the suction uh, of uh, that particular throat that is change in pressure of air means whatever air pressure at section 1 1 and what would be the pressure of the air at the throat and that changes in the pressure that is nothing but delta pa is nothing but called the suction at the throat section so here we have to calculate delta pa which is the unknown value so to solve such kind of a problems we have to adopt some methodology we have to use some steps so step by step we will understand the procedure to solve such kind of a problem this is uh, another variety of problem whenever the problem on the carburetor will come uh, in this phase so you just have to adopt this particular methodology to get the solution so the first step in this problem uh, solution is what swept volume or stroke volume so initially we have to calculate the swept volume or stroke volume so we know the formula of swept or displacement volume on certain sometime it is nothing but called as a stroke volume also so we have the formula v sub x s that is a stroke volume or swept volume or the displacement volume is nothing but pi by 4 d square into n into number of cylinder okay so this d stands for the bore diameter and this l stands for the stroke length now in this case in this problem number of cylinders are given 4 that's the put the value of number of cylinder is equal to 4 and put all the given data whatever given things are uh, present in the problem okay so after calculations we will get the swept volume is equal to 3.14 into 10 to minus 3 meter cube okay we have already converted the value of that particular things of bore and stroke length from the centimeter to mm itself okay and further you can convert that things into meter so 3.1 per into 10 to minus 3 meter cube this is the swept volume please do the calculations at your own and check down whether this value is correct or wrong so after getting the first step or after getting the value of v sub x s the next step is what actual volume per stroke so how we can calculate the actual volume again we have the formula volumetric efficiency into swept volume so we just calculated the value of swept volume put the value over here and volumetric efficiency that is 75 percent is already mentioned in the problem so put these two values and get the answer that will come 2.355 into 10 to minus 3 meter cube so this would be the actual volume per stroke and this is the second step so the next step that is the step number three now with the help of this about two values that is vs and the second one actual volume per stroke the next one the next value which we have to calculate and that is actual volume sucked per revolution okay so for every revolution we have to calculate the actual volume so again we have the formula to get uh, that particular things and the formula is what actual volume per stroke we have just calculated that actual volume per stroke and that value is 2.355 into 10 to minus 3 put that value over here into that rpm by 2 so for the per revolution so in this case uh, for four stroke engine there will be a two revolution of the crankshaft so for the per revolution we have to calculate or we have to divide by two to the given rpm so in this case the rpm of the engine is 40 revolution per second so we have written over here the 40 
uh, and to calculate for per revolution we have to just divide it by 2 because this is the four stroke engine and four stroke uh, in the case of four stroke engine there is always two revolutions of the crankshaft so if we want to calculate for per revolution then definitely we have to divide it, divide by 2 to the given rpm so again uh, put the values and get the answer and that will come 0 0.0471 meter cube per second so this is the actual volume sucked per revolution so after this one the next step uh, would be now to calculate the mass of air okay finally you will able to understand why we have calculated why we have made step number one two three etc etc okay so all the things are depending on each other our ultimate aim is what we have to calculate the delta p a that is change in pressure of air or that are nothing but called as a suction at the throat so to calculate the mass of air we have the formula this actual volume sucked up per revolution as we just calculated and that comes 0 0.0471 into density of air so again density of air is given in the problem put the value and get the mass of air and that would 0 0.0541 kg per second so units are very very essential and important as per the convergence you have to write the unit so this is the value of mass of air so finally we have to calculate the pressure difference so in this case the initial temperature is not given so we have to consider neglecting the effect of compressibility of air gas so we know there are two uh, methodologies to get the answer one is by taking the effect of compressibility of air derivation and another one that is neglecting the effect of compressibility of air so as we already discussed problem number one and in that problem the initial temperatures and pressures are given that's why we have used that another derivation that is by taking the effect of compressibility of air but in this problem no initial temperature is given or the pressure is given that's why we can directly use neglecting the effect of compressibility of air so we know that particular formula of mass of air in the case of neglecting the effect of compressibility of air derivation so here we have a2 under root of 2 rho a into delta p a delta p a is nothing but p1 minus p2 is nothing but change in pressure of air so we can directly replace that things to delta p a into that coefficient of discharge of air c sub x d okay so put all the values which we have with us and uh, finally you can get delta p a is equal to 4527.72 newton per meter square and this would the change in pressure of air or we can say suction at the throat so this way we can able to get the solution of this particular problem okay so in the next video we will see the another variety of the problem so thank you so much for watching this particular video lecture thanks a lot